Hey everyone, I want to talk about my last week of training and how different things went during the turkey day break and if you're looking at the title of this video, yes I did hit a couple of PRs in the last workout that I had, um, but my workouts during Thanksgiving actually went really well and yeah, so without too much more dilly dallying, let's get right into this video. <laughs> So some of you I'm sure have seen um, it's not the last video I posted, but the video uh, before that, the last like workout type video, um, besides the live stream type things. Um, but that was with Seth, and that was the first workout that I did at home, and that was um, Wednesday. And I talked about different things with that, so I won't really um, spend too much time on that. But I will say um, the previous day, so I got home Tuesday night, and so that morning, um, I, actually, I worked out that morning, and then I worked out the next day, that afternoon, and then... Um, on Thursday, Thanksgiving, I didn't do anything. I just laid around and was lazy. Um, I didn't try to track or do anything while I was over Thanksgiving. I just ate whatever I wanted, and um, it, it went fine. I don't think I really ate um, overly too much. I never really got stuffed. I just ate enough to where I was kind of full, and that's kind of how I always eat. I don't eat enough to go into turkey coma, at least um, <laughs> not this year. Uh, and then on Friday... Uh, I went with uh, my brother-in-law to a gym that's in Akron, Ohio called Bodybuilders Gym and it's an extremely old school place but if you uh, follow my Instagram stuff, the deadlifts that I posted a couple of posts ago, um, it was 505 for two singles, um, one with sumo, one with conventional, I did them both with a good old hook grip um, but they had a really nice bar and they had some really old um, Alico plates so they had some really nice plates. Um, I put 505, but I actually might have been 504 because there was a couple of 20 kilogram plates that I used, but it, I mean, it's essentially close enough to 505 um, with that. But um, that was a really cool place. I ended up doing a, you know, a couple of bodybuilding type movements, I guess. I just kind of messed around a little bit. I went into deadlifts. I did a little, little tiny bit of bench and um, then the heavy singles on, on deadlifts. That was my, my main thing for that day. Um, but then I went, um, I took Saturday off because I drove home Friday night and just relaxed all day Saturday and um, went to the grocery store, you know, different, thing, different things I have to do in order to survive. And then on Sunday, I went in uh, to do various things. So I started out with front squatting. I wanted to hit a 315 pound squat and I just put a belt on and I was like, I'm just going to go and hit it and then that's it. And I, it went really well. I was surprised. It was a little grindy when I was feeling it out uh, when I was actually doing it when I looked at the video it moved really well and I felt like I I have more in the tank as far as that front squat goes which is really exciting um, because that's coming up pretty fast and that's only going to help my quads um, the more I'm able to progress that lift uh, but I worked up to so that was a lifetime PR of 10 pounds with that 315 pound front squat um, but then I went after that I did clean and jerks and I worked up to a new PR um, with that as well with um, 215 pounds. I failed 225 pounds twice um, And that's it's purely with technique. I have plenty of strength to get it up I just have my my jerk is just absolutely horrendous right now um, So that kind of leads me into what my focus will be for my Olympic lifts and kind of what it was for my snatches that day And it will just be purely technique um, and I'll be working with lighter weights that I can manage a lot easier and work on a lot more form So that means being able to do a lot more higher reps without killing myself or failing a lot of reps and um, Really with the clean and jerk the big thing is just getting the Movement down with it and really the same thing with the snatch and cleans and all of that stuff but um, I, I haven't really done a correct jerk with like really really good form. I've done like decent snatches and decent cleans and you know with those movements um, but I haven't really done one where I was really happy with the landing position on the jerk and it's it's still a kind of an awkward um, part of the movement for me um, but thankfully it's progressing pretty well like 215 I was really surprised that I was able to hit um, it felt really heavy you know doing it but it moved really well and despite having a bad um, mechanics with my jerk I was still able to get it up and um, able to do it so hopefully 
uh, I'm able to progress with the mechanics of that, and that'll be my focus for a while, is um, just progressing mechanical-wise and then slowly, slowly adding weight. Um, I think I've worked with heavy enough weight for a while. I kind of got the 165 snatch as kind of my benchmark for what I can do with a snatch, maybe. And also the 215 kind of gives me a benchmark of where I'm at for the clean and jerk. So I kind of have numbers to, not necessarily so much to work off of, but numbers to, you know, some, some place mark for me to kind of look forward to in the future. So I'm not worried about PRing in those particular lifts anytime soon, but more of just really trying to progress in the mechanics because I'm sure that if I went in um, to the gym fresh and just did clean and jerks, I could probably do 225 with really ugly form, just like I did the 215. So it's, I'm not, it's not as if like, oh, I have to get to two plates tomorrow I'm blah, 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 with any of that. But um, I do want to get better at them in the future, and I think, um, and with talking with um, my friend Justin that does Olympic lifting where most of his stuff, um, he, well, that was one of the things that he regretted, and he says a lot of people who do weightlifting regret is that they didn't spend more time with lighter weights working with their form because then they have some of those um, mechanical faults kind of ingrained and they're hard to get out. And I can um, say for my baseball playing days with um, different things I worked on with my mechanics, specifically my arm action, um, that it is very hard to get over bad habits that have been developed over a number of years. So I'd rather uh, spend more time developing the good habits so once I start moving to heavier and heavier weights, that um, I don't have to worry about my form quite as much. Form will always break down when you get to heavier and heavier weights, but um, to have as good a form as I can when I get to the point will only benefit me in the long term. And also with working with lighter weights, it means I can essentially do Olympic lifts every single time I go in and I don't have to worry about um, planning them or structuring them quite as much because I can have them more just like a practice lift and kind of get that training stimulus with them without destroying my body entirely from trying to do heavy lifts all the time. I'm with those because they are very hard on the body. So that will be kind of my next week. Next week's plan is to kind of work on um, those as far as my mechanics goes. And um, my next lift will be tomorrow. So I don't generally lift on Mondays um, just because I'd rather just focus on school and it just get through the Monday day and not have to worry about trying to fit a workout in um, that day. But the next workout, I know I definitely, I definitely want to do some benching stuff. I haven't decided exactly. Um, I kind of have some tentative plans of what I want to do, but my IT band, whatever, Vasis, Lateralis, or whatever that is, um, is still kind of acting up. So I may treat it nice the next time, or I may just kind of push through it. It really depends how it feels when I'm warming up. But um, the next time I lift, it will probably be uh, back squats with some variation, then some Olympic lifts and different things with bench as well. Um, but I kind of have to decide what I want to do with that and when I want to do it, because if I go in the morning, I may not have as much time to do a lot of stuff. If I go in the evening, I may have some more time, but I'll also be more tired. So that's kind of um, the game I have to play now. But um, I'm always glad to hit PRs in any, any sort of the word, so that's exciting as well. And um, with the last squat workout that I had that I was at Mount Union on Wednesday um, where I hit 385 for a high bar squat. I, my best high bar um, ever was a 390 and that moved really well for being 99.9% .9 of my high bar max. So I definitely think um, that 4 or 5 is right around the corner as far as that goes and if I really pushed it I could probably PR um, and hit 395 if I really really wanted to but I'm not going to worry about trying to get up that high. Um, next time I squat or really the next week or so um, or the week after that probably at least um, and focus on doing some triples or maybe even more probably not um, triples are where where I like to stay because I can just do a bunch of sets with that and I don't feel like I'm going to die every single set but um, yeah there really isn't too much else to talk about I covered a lot of it in the workout video that I recorded with Seth and um, that all went well and I, I guess the last thing I want to talk about is not really related to my workouts per se, but with the um, the live streaming that um, you may have, may or may not have seen. Not too many people viewed it, and I don't blame it because it was a minute and a half of actual live streaming, and then it was an hour Skype call that we ended up doing. Uh, so with that, we made the plan. I I planned, you know, scheduled a time and everything to, to um, do a live stream with um, Jake, my good bodybuilding friend. If you don't know who he is, then you can just click on. Um, the Skype call that we did and you can learn a little bit about him. Uh, we talked for about an hour just about a, a, a variety of different things as well, or uh, just fitness things. But um, what we are planning on doing and what I thought would be really neat is to do a live stream of us talking and kind of have that playing live and then have that archived, you know, recorded kind of like the Skype call was. Um, but with his computer, 
He has the, I think, the Microsoft 2 RT, which doesn't allow you to download anything that's not Microsoft or from the Microsoft Store. So he was unable to have Chrome on his computer, which I think prevented him from also doing live streams. He just told me that he couldn't do um, any sort of live streaming. It just said it wasn't going to work for him. And his other computer wasn't working. So um, it is kind of a pain because um, Microsoft is just kind of difficult like that. But I know he's looking to get a new computer. And I think that's something that I would like to do in the future more is kind of that live streaming and kind of um, informally interview people or um, just kind of catch up with different people and talk about different fitness related things. Um, not so much like a structured interview, but more of just a um, laid back conversation because I don't really feel like um, I, I would be good at just doing like a structured interview. I wouldn't really enjoy that more than just kind of just a candid conversation about different different things like that. Um, but that's something I want to do more in the future and hopefully Jake can uh, get a new computer or whatever he needs to do to get his uh, stuff that he has fixed so that we can do a live stream because I think um, it was really fun. it's really fun to like talk to him on Skype or talk to people on Skype um, and live streaming is, is the same thing with that it just puts it on YouTube uh, so keep a heads out for that heads up for that I should say um, because the next time I do plan to do that hopefully it will work we are still like obviously with that I'm going to have to be working out the kinks and different uh, technology issues with that um, but thankfully it shouldn't be an issue with recording the video uh, the big thing with me now is obviously getting um, Jake the ability to record uh, or to get into a live stream and not have issues with that but also to improve the audio um, with that because I know if I use uh, the USB mic that I have I should be able to record um, audio from my computer with that mic so it should be really high quality audio I'm not worried so much about the video uh, but having better audio is always going to be beneficial so I'll have to play around with that so um, with the next live stream if you look at the Skype call this, the audio isn't very great so hopefully I can improve uh, upon that because I just use the uh, microphone that's on the computer so it's not going to be very, very good anyway um, but I think that's something I would like to regularly do in the future some sort of live stream whether it be with Jake on a regular basis or it be with just a variety of people um, because it's something that I think is not really present at all in the fitness community. A very, I don't know of anyone that I follow that does live streaming in any sort of way. Um, and I think it's something that would make my channel unique. And it's also something I see more on the political side or the anti-feminist or whatever, you know, whatever you want to call that, that sphere of YouTube. But more on that side, I see a lot more live streaming and a lot more of that. And I think it's something that I can adopt on this side of YouTube and it'd be something that would hopefully be a little bit interesting but if you are someone that would be interested in potentially live streaming then you can leave a comment down below and we can potentially set something up i'm open to live streaming with anyone that's i mean as long as you speak english in some in some sort of capacity um no hablo espanol muy bien but um if that's something you'd be interested in leave a comment and we can try to get that set up but i think that'd be something that'd be very interesting uh, particularly for people that live far away to kind of just talk about different things related to fitness kind of have that kind of have that gym conversation that you can't really have with someone that lives across the world or across the country or whatnot so um it's something i think would be interesting and um it would be unique to kind of the fitness community and um, if you see other big f YouTubers start doing live streams, no, it start it started here first. You know, this is this is where um, ag agent or um, what's it, patient zero started. So, um, if people start stealing my ideas, then you have to keep keep an eye out for that. And let me know so I can um, do absolutely nothing because I have 142 subscribers. So um, there's not much I could do. Um, but yeah, so that's really about it. So I kind of rambled on for a bit. Um, but that's what I always do in these videos. So if you have any thoughts or comments about um, the week of workouts that I talked about and also with the live streaming, the different things I mentioned about that, please leave those down below. And any other thoughts or comments, always leave those down below. And as always, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.